Congratulations on your purchase of the War Machine. You're now one step closer to being in the best shape of your life. Preparation for war. Prepare your body for the war machine. Your warm up should be performed for at least five minutes and should be followed by light stretching of major muscle groups. Example, jogging, running, fast walking, stationary bike, elliptical, calisthenics, jump rope. Execution of the battle plan. Always stand at a comfortable angle, suitable to your own level of strength and ability. To start, only a very slight body angle is recommended. Carefully follow exercise instructions. Execute each war machine exercise in a slow, controlled manner. Time intervals for training are as follows. Beginners, 15 to 20 seconds per exercise. Intermediates, 25 to 35 seconds per exercise. Advanced, 40 to 60 seconds per exercise. Be sure to rest for 30 seconds between each set and 45 seconds between each exercise. If you are unable to complete any war machine exercise for the time interval specified, simply decrease the time interval and perform the exercise for an amount of time that is comfortable for you. For example, if you cannot perform an exercise for the full 30 second time interval, try doing the exercise for 10 seconds at a time. Position, neutral. Basic position where the height of the war machine pulley is comfortably reachable at overhead arm's length. Most war machine exercises can be performed from a neutral position. Long position. The height of the pulley is lowered from neutral position so that the handles are one inch from the ground. Short position. The rope on the war machine is shortened so that the handles are approximately two feet from the pulley. Lock handle mode. Begin with war machine in neutral position. Lock both carabiners to both handle D rings. Static position. Begin in neutral position. Attach handle carabiners onto the static holes at the top of the pulley housing by inserting the carabiners from the bottom up. Termination of the battle. Stretch and cool down. Adjusting the length of the rope. Step one, select the location of the rope where the carabiner and handle will be attached. Step two, pinch rope together with one hand making a loop in the rope and inserting index finger and thumb from other hand. Step three, with the index finger and thumb pointing up, roll that hand toward the other hand so that the index finger and thumb are now pointing down. Step four, Pinch index finger and thumb together and pull the double portion of rope through making a loop. Step five, open carabiner and place through loop and pull tight. Now you've just made what is referred to as a pressic knot. Positioning your heels in the war machine straps. Roll back, place heels in stirrups. Make sure they're tight, keeping pressure on the handles. Positioning feet in the war machine for the plank and inverted positions. Right leg goes to left stirrup and then she crosses over other foot on top. Turns around, putting knees on the floor and then extending airborne. Always attach the war machine to a secure, strong, stable anchor point that is able to easily support your body weight. Perform a weight test to determine the strength and integrity of your chosen anchor point. Take excess webbing and fold to store in Velcro strap above buckle. In the open mode, remove the pin and store it in one of the two war machine upper holes. Door anchor use and installation. Do not use the door anchor on sliding doors, glass doors, lightweight closet doors, double doors, or doors that have a large gap between door and frame. Attaching the anchor with door opening away from you. This is the most secure setup as your body weight will pull the door closed. Put door anchor and strap over the top of the door and centered.
close door securely, making sure that the door handle lock engages. Perform weight test by pulling the strap to make sure door is securely closed and that anchor is secure prior to performing any exercise. Put door anchor and strap over the top of the door and slide the strap and anchor all the way above the upper door hinge. This is the most secure and stable point of the door and will not put force on the door to help prevent door from accidentally opening. If unsure of proper use of equipment, please visit the following website, www.crosscore-usa.com. First exercise today will be the chest press. She goes into a full press, comes up, keeps her feet steady and down, and then she's gonna go into a half single arm press where the arm stays close to the body, keeps her lines clean. She's gonna go into a full arm chest, keep the head straight, keep the core in line, keep it close, and now she's gonna to go to the other side, same thing. You'll find there will be a weak side and a dominant side, so that's the reason you keep one arm in really tight. You really wanna, don't hyperextend that arm or have it pull away from you. Now a lot of core work's going on. All your chest exercises, all your chest muscles are working your shoulder muscles, mostly anterior, your triceps. And again, she's keeping her legs nice and clean and steady so she can get a good turn on that. Keeping the body straight, keeping the core tight. Now she's gonna go back, but to the right side, the same way a half first. Keep that elbow out, pull one, keeping the hand in, and then just letting go and extending the whole body. Feet are flat, keep the and breathing properly. Exhale when you're in the pushing motion. Full extension, straight lines. And that completes the War Machine chest press. This is a single leg suspended lunge. She's gonna take the stirrups, she's gonna put them into her forefoot, and she's just Gonna keep her arms up and lunge backwards. This works all the posterior side of the glutes, hamstrings. The one thing you wanna pay attention to is not let the knee go forward. We wanna keep it perpendicular to the heel. So the load goes into the heel and you don't stress the knee. She's also working a lot of core there. She's elongating her other leg, getting a lot of range through it. And now she's gonna stretch even more core, getting all this stretched out in her, really turn. Head goes high. So keep the knee back a little bit. Go further back. There you go. Good. A lot of stability work going on here. And that completes a single leg suspended lunge. The next exercise is a single leg squat. She loads the front foot, gets secure, keeps her arms extended. Goes down slowly. This is working all the lower back, core, glutes, hamstrings. The other leg, as you can see, is keeping straight. Heel force out ahead of her. And she's keeping her arm, the cables close right over each leg for stability and balance. And that's how you do the single leg squat.